And why would you build a, a, a pool to show the community and don't let them use it? Disappointment in Del Paso Heights tonight as a public pool closes early for the summer. The $6 million pool at Grant Union High School was built about two years ago. It was supposed to be a place where the entire community could cool off. But that won't be the case this summer. New tonight, CBS 13's Angela Greenwood is in the newsroom now with more on what's behind this closure. Angela? Christina and Tony, this is a community that's long been in need of more recreation and more positive things for young people to do. And this pool was supposed to provide just that, along, of course, with a little relief from the extreme heat like we're about to see this weekend. But instead, it is closed for construction for the next two months. Pool closed and just in time for summer. It's heck of hot out here. Terrible timing if you ask these kids. I'm mad because I can't go, we can't go swimming. This $6 million pool at Grant Union High School made a splash in the Del Paso Heights community almost two years ago. If this pool was open, undoubtedly you have 100 kids up here. But from now until August 20th, it's closed for construction. It should be open during summer, not at the end of summer when everyone's going back to school. It's a temporary closure, according to Twin Rivers Unified, while bleachers and a sunshade are installed in the pool area. The district also saying it had to fix damage caused by vandalism. It's totally insane. Despite the no trespassing signs, Little League coach John Burnside says he's witnessed kids climbing the pool gates to get into the water. You had kids there four or five years old and there's no lifeguard. A public space, he says, is about more than just cooling off. This could be a deterrent for a lot of juvenile delinquent stuff that's going on. It's also a place to strengthen an underprivileged community. You have nowhere to go. You're not going to the pool, so now you're hanging out on the streets. In a statement today, district officials said, quote, while we understand the needs in the community, we must first ensure that the construction is complete for the start of the new school year before we open to the public. A public pool shut down, just as the weather... It's really hot out here. ...heats up. And district officials also say they are working to secure lifeguards to have in place when construction is completed. But again, that's not expected to happen until the third week of August. Yeah, questionable timing.